All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the channel. As usual, my name is, of course, Constantine, and today in the world of indie games, we're just about to check out a brand new game called Flock. Now, I did play this one, I did play the demo of this one a while back, and I was absolutely in love with it. It's gonna be a very, very special adventure, and today, I'm actually gonna be playing this one on Xbox PC Game Pass, and I'm super, super excited about it. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out right now. It is uh, out, of course, day one on Game Pass. Super excited about it. So without further ado, let's just dive right in and uh, carry on with the journey. This is gonna be a very, very special adventure, and what I love about this game is that you can also play this one multiplayer uh which is super super cool so uh let's just dive right in let's do this now of course uh we are gonna start up with uh creating our own character here now this one is apparently recommended playing with uh controller i'm just gonna be going with my mouse and keyboard here uh just because my battery on the controller is dead <laughs> so uh let me just try to customize my character here a little bit let's put on a little bit of a hairdo maybe uh i think what i want to do i want to take off the hat i want to see my hairdo look at that that is so cool I think I can also choose the colors of the hair and everything like that. But uh, I am going to go with blue because it kind of like goes with my bird. Uh, you can also change the color of your bird. I, I do want to have like a red jacket on. Uh, for the face, I want to go with this one. Or maybe this one. Yeah, I kind of like this one more. And for the bird, this one looks perfect with my character. So uh, that being said, hold create. And uh, let's dive right in. Actually, hold up. Got to put up a name. Danton. There we go. And now... Hold. Right, and look at that. I think we're almost there, old girl. Hard to tell with all this cloud, though. I wonder if that's why Aunt Jane needs our help? Hmm. You'll like her, I think. And she's a zoology professor, so she'll definitely like you. Not so sure about Uncle Reg, though. You're not one of his beloved sheep, so he might not even notice you. They like chalk and cheese. Reg and Jane? Uh, hard to believe they're twins. Oh, I can just about see the towers up ahead. What a relief. Let's find out uh, on Jane and see what's going on. Hey, there we go. And I love this. Look at that. In Flock, you do not control the heart of your bears directly. It will do it by itself, as well as avoid obstacles. Okay. Oh man, but this looks so cool. You cannot really zoom into my character or not. You can also do some dashing if you want to, which is awesome. Kind of like speed up a little bit with your birds. That's really cool. I think uh, when I first played the game, uh, I played with a controller. Now I'm trying to experience again a little bit here, try to see how it's going to go with uh, the mouse and keyboard. And I like it. It's actually not that bad. Oh, man. The sounds, though. Not to mention, I'm currently playing this one at full quality graphics. Everything bumped all the way to the max, and it just looks spectacular. Such a beautiful game. All right, so my quest is to visit Jane. And from what I remember from the uh, tutorial, Jane is right here. Or more like the demo, I want to say. Hey, Stanton, you made it. I admit, I was getting worried. Hey, hey you, Stanton. What a sight for sore eyes. Mm. We've had a cloud surge, the first one in decades. It came in so fast that it swallowed up all the research students. Mm. What a bunch of wallies. You wouldn't catch a bird rider like Stanton getting swallowed up. We watched you and that bird zoom across the cloud like you'd been uh, doing it for years. Hmm. Actually, that brings us to the reason for your visit. You see, I'm creating an official uh, upland creature guide and I can't do it without a bird rider. Imagine, all our glorious local creatures in one handy book. Hmm. And none more glorious than my little sheep, Bessie. <laughs> keep an eye out for Herbert Santin. Hmm. My students are lending a hand with the book, but we can't keep peace with a creature. We need a bird rider to get close to them. Try flying up to the creature, Santin. Ooh, okay. And look at this. Off you go, then. I will, I will. Give me a second. So, a wall creature to identify. That's what we gotta do, right? And I think there's one right over here. How do I identify it, though? Oh, there we go. Just click. Whoa. They don't seem bothered by you at all. Let's try identifying one. First, take your time and observe them closely. Uh, look for distinctive uh, markings, I guess, behaviors, habitats, anything. When you're ready, press click, I guess, and it will open up a creature guide. What is this? Kind of like a chicken. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's our first uh, creature. This is a blank copy of our interactive upload field guide. Each, spe uh, each space represents a creature that lives in the up uh, plans, uh, including the one you've just discovered. To help you narrow down your opinions or options for which species this is, you'll first need to want to identify the family it belongs to. Leaves are such a ragtag bunch, but they all have wings of some sort. If you find yourself saying, well, if it isn't any of these other things, then it's probably a glebe. Identifying the species is far easier. Give it a go. This one is the glebe family, right? 
Uh, let's see. Floppy Pruskis sack like body. Huge feather mouth. Uh, chicken like body. Distinctive hopping gait. Yeah, I think this is the one. As I was saying, this is kind of like a chicken. Antlers, no. Hides in long grass, it's not. And nocturnal, nope. So I'm guessing it's the chicken. It's the gallows glebe, right? Yes, I'm sure. That's right. It's the gallows glebe. Well done. So that's basically how we're going to be identifying the creatures that we're going to be discovering in this game. Uh, because basically this is kind of like a creature collecting game. You're making progress. Not many creatures left to identify in the areas you can reach now. Ew. You've identified your first creature in record time. Soon you'll be skilled enough that I can trust you with my uh, whistles, I guess. Mm. Oh, so these are the whistles. I get it. Yeah, I remember for again from the uh, demo. But I need to make sure that we got the hang of the creature the identification first. Go out and identify three more creatures for me. Mm. Try to find three more creatures. Man, I remember that uh, when I started playing this one, when I started playing the demo of this one, like a couple months ago, I was so excited about it, to be honest, because I really enjoyed this game. It's just such a pretty, pretty adventure. All right, let me go ahead and identify some more creatures. We got these ones that we can identify. Let's observe him. <laughs> just look at this. What an awesome little game. All right, let's see. New family discovered right over here. The Buells. Now, these are the Buells. Buells are just like beans with faces, really. It's adorable. <laughs> uh, basking on concrete warm weather. Large yellow spots. Nope. Travel in packs. Uh, I mean, they kind of like are in packs. Very scuffy, pretends to be fruit. No. Steals things. No. And skips water surface. No. So I'm guessing it's going to be uh, Baskin Buells. Yes, I'm sure. That's right. It's the Baskin Buells. Well done. There we go. We identified another creature, which is the Buells, uh, the Buells family. You're making great progress. Not many creatures left to identify. All right, so we got this one. I see that it is nighttime. Oh, we got another one here. Let's check it out. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, this game is just so cool. Such a lovely adventure. All right, a new family discovered, and this one is the Cosmets. And I see that the Cosmets also have a special bubble. You found your first Cosmet. Cosmets have a distinctive boomerang shape and only live near flowers. All right, three vertical plain blue fin tips. Three vertical stripes. I mean, he doesn't really have any vertical stripes. Those are or, or, horizontal stripes. Nose is a different color of its body, no. Horizontal stripes, stripes never camouflaged. Yep. It is horizontal for sure. Very large, no. And spots on thin. No, I think it's this one, the yellow. Yellow tipped. Aww. Yep, that's right. It's a yellow tipped Cosmet. Well done. Ooh, okay. I thought this was gonna be the first one, but no, it's actually the last uh, yellow tipped one. You're making great progress. And lastly, I gotta identify one more. I wonder if I gotta identify the sheep, right? I guess we can. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but that's just a sheep. <laughs> yeah, and apparently sheep do not come in many shapes and sizes. It's just one. Oi, what do you mean just a sheep? I don't have you talking about Bessie that way. Yeah. All right, right. I suppose there's no harm in coming the sheep too. Although it's not like there's anything to say about them. Hmm. Uh, Bessie has a face like a glorious summer day and wool that would make an angel cry. You write down, you write that down uh, in your fancy guy, Jane. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, let's crack on, shall we? You're making great progress. So I still need to find one more. Jane, bidding down the hatches. Thieves can coming. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. There are kind of like really tiny creatures, which are these ones that are the thieves. No. They're stealing the flutes. <laughs> oh man. And I think from what I remember, my whole mission across this entire journey is gonna be me trying to find these uh these flutes. They've stolen the whistles! And your feedback. Uh, you've been away at the university too long, Jane. Fancy forgetting to secure your stuff against burgling bills. I did not forget. You should have warned us sooner. We can't charm any creatures without the granny whistles. Uh, Stanton, I'm sorry about this, but you'll need to track down the little burglars. One of them headed to the meadow uh, near our camp. The one Bessie's in. Can you see if you can spot it? 
Yeah, I'm actually right over here. So let me first of all... Uh, I know it's there, but it's almost impossible to find it when it's hitting all the meadow grass. Well, I can set Bessie on the meadows to make sure work at that grass and the bugger will have nowhere to left to hide. Come on, Bess. Time to show Jane and Stanton what you're made of. <laughs> oh, man. I actually love the uh, the the look of this game here. The, the graphics, the art style. Even the gameplay is very, very unique and very enjoyable. It's just one of those very cozy and charming little games that I always am in search for. There we go. We found it. Pull it, Betsy. Pull it out of the ground. <laughs> hmm. That was actually pretty impressive. Well done, Betsy. Oh. Great job, girl. Who's a good little sheep? It is Bessie, of course. Yes, it is. You're so cute and good at munching. You're going to get a, such a fuzzin'. <laughs> uh, anyway, Stanton, you'll be able to drag the bullet out of his uh, hidey hole now. Just grab its beak and give it a real hard yank. Uh, Let's try it out. So I guess what I gotta do is just click and fly out. That's it. Now fly backwards to so yank it out. <laughs> there we go. Hey, that's a burger bull, all right? Such pesky little things and almost impossible to catch after they uh, dislodge them. Oh, wait, what? No. Yep, there he goes. And good riddance, too. Gosh, dang it. Tangent, have a look at the burrow in the burglar's uh, bull just left. Let's see if uh, we can find the whistle, maybe? Hey, there it is. Recovered the whistle for bulls. Awesome. Wow. It's the bull whistle. What a stroke of luck. The whistles each have a unique song uh, that can be used to charm creatures from a particular family. And oh my god, this looks so good. Look at the colors and everything. Man, this game. And this is one of the reasons why I was uh, super duper excited about this game to come out, to be honest, this summer. Because, uh, I mean, look how beautiful it is. Definitely one of the most uh, gorgeous games I've played this year, for sure. This one is a Buell whistle, so it plays a song that appears to Buells. Oh, and it looks like your bird has picked up the song too. What a smarty pants. Now you have the Buell whistle, you can go up to the Buells and try to impress it with your songs. Give it a go, give it a go now. Any Buell will do. Alright, so I gotta go to these ones. And impress them, right? Ooh, like that, I guess, eh? Oh, hold up, I gotta keep my distance. So from what I remember, in order to actually impress them and have them follow you, you gotta use that thing to charm them at the right distance. So, gotta get closer for this one. And, boom. There we go. That one is done. And another one charmed. And another one. Hey, your flock loves singing. I cannot get this one because this one is not a Buell, though. Um, Can I get the sheep as well, I wonder? No, I don't think I can. Uh, we gotta get two more. Hold up, we gotta get two more. Let me go over here. Display pink. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Create oh, you can also create markers. Huh. I don't know how that works, but anyway... Let me charm up another one. Alright, and we need one more. Charmed. Awesome. Ah, it looks like your flock is full standing. After all, you can only entertain so many wall creatures at once. From now on, charming a new creature means an older one will lose interest and fly off. Nothing personal, obviously. Okay. The water tower. Uh, so what do I got to do next? Guess I got to bring them to j Rod over here, right? Yep, that's what I got to do. Oh. Well done. You should have got a hang of things. Okay, so next up. Then give the poor kid uh, some moment. Relax. It's been project this and whistles that all day. If you run Stanton and that bird ragged, he'll be no use to us anymore. Stanton, your next task is to take a breather. Just flap over to the perch I've marked down and uh, take some well-deserved rest. Well, I suppose a little break might be nice. Uh, I'll have a cup of coffee, I guess. And uh, you go on and uh, see what's great about this perch, Stanton. Awesome. So apparently, uh, if you do sit on a perch, I think what happens is uh, this allows you to kind of like explore the, the lands a little bit. Let's see. Mm. Perching is a great way to relax and appreciate the beauty of the uplands. You can even do a bit of creature watching if you focus. Just hold on to... What is that? Shift? Space? 
to take a closer look at the surroundings. How do you... What? Oh, it's shift, okay. If you hold on shift to stay in focus mode and zoom in and out using up and down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Tantin, I spotted something in the clouds nearby. Use the focus to see it. Wait, what is it? I can't... Oh, it's right here. What is that? Oh? Oh my goodness, is that an Emperor Cosmet? I thought they were just one of the granny stories. Hmm, I bet it's been exploring the lumping fields just down the mountain. Cosmets love lumpins. I wonder what's brought it above the clouds. Hey, there we go. We got another one uh, marked down. Perfect. What a magnificent beast. You can hear it from miles away too. Oh my, the cloud layer is falling. Is it the Emperor Cosmet making that happen? I think what happens here, from where I remember from the uh, from the demo when I played it a while back, right? I think every single time we found one of these uh, cosmets, we tame them. Uh, they will actually get the clouds go lower and lower and lower, and that's how we're gonna be exploring more of the lands. Man, this is such a lovely game. I absolutely love this one. And what I was saying, guys, this game can actually be played in co-op as well. So if you have a friend that you want to play this with, uh, you can easily host a, uh, a server. He can join you and can all play together, which is awesome. Ah, that's better. You can see the limping fields over our left. They're beautiful at a time of the year, so take a look, Santin. All right, uh, let's head on out then. Leave the perch. Now, from what I remember, there are these other creatures that I would like to also check out. Um, let's see if I can identify them, but from what I remember, they're gonna hide off. They might not be, actually, there we go. Never mind, we can actually identify them. That is so, so weird. And look at that. That's all I was saying. The Emperor Cosmets are actually kind of like a, a special species, right? The king species of uh, these creatures. This is your first Piper. Pipers are long, strong, and often mistaken for uh, wind stalks or wind socks when they're in flight. Okay, let's see. Gassy leaves a uh, cloud. No. We'll dive into Boros when startled. The Vigilant Piper. I think this is the one. But it might also be the Sepulus Piper because he lives in colonies on cliff facades. And this is a cliff. But it's not on the facade, that's the thing. Looks like a scarf. Bright vertical bandings and small groups patrol. No, I think it's the... We'll dive in borrows when startled. Yes. That's right, it's the Vigilant Piper. Well done. Okay, perfect. Keep it going. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, look at that. They are actually getting startled. Man, this looks so good. I remember when I played the demo, uh, it might not look that good because I probably did not play it at a full quality, graphics quality and everything. And I think some of the options for improving the quality of how the game looks were not available. Uh, but this is just spectacular. All right, we got another one. And this one has also horizontal stripes. Oh, but it has a tip nose. So I think I know which one this one is. Hmm. So I think this one is, wait, what? Uh, it's one of these ones, the Cosmet, right? Oh. Yep, it's a Cosmet. Easy to identify when you know what you're looking for. Uh, so this one is the one with the, let's see, vertical stripes, pin tips, plain no. Uh, very large nose. Nose is a different color than the body. Yes. That's right. It's the pink nose cosmet. Well done. So we currently have three of the cosmets. We just gotta find two more and we're gonna be done with them. Alright, so that's one of the cosmets. It's a lost sheep. Oh, we found the lost sheep. Hold up. Playtime over for you, Wally Wally. Tantin is going to yank you out of there. Yeah, I will. Hold up. Give me a second here. And pull it off. Get out of there. There we go. Ooh, and I think it's actually going to join us. Awesome. And of course, it needs to join us if I want to find some more of those burglars. Or look at this one. A rye bubble dazzler, I'd say. But a great sheep needs a great name. Wait, can I rename it? Buttercup Tufty Romulus. Let's go with Wally. Here we go. 
Ah, uh, that's perfect. Get it, guys? It's called Wally because it's actually giving us wall. Your first sheep. I'm so proud of you, Stanton. Sheep everything is clearly in your bones. <laughs> now, the next step is grazing the meadows. Eating the grass makes your sheep nice and woolly. Plus, it, plus it'll flush out those burgling bulls. Fly over to any meadows and set them down. Mm. Tantin, while you're in the loping fields, could you look out for Research Bernard? He'll be one of the emergency uh, perchers as one of our safety protocols. They're the ones with the colorful windstock on top. Ooh, okay. I will try, I will try. Uh, these ones I'm pretty sure I already have. And I definitely have enough of them. Let me look so up for some of those uh, green pastures to set down the uh, the sheep. Oh, right here. There we go. Mm. That's grand. Now you leave the sheep to munch away. When the grass is all gone, uh, you'll be able to find the burgling bulls and drag it out of his den. Also, you'll have a very full and very wally sheep. That is so cool. So basically, we got to find a lot of these sheep in order to put them down and uh, clear up the path, right? So we can get ourselves uh, more of those creatures. All right, let's see. So this one we've already uh, uncovered. Let us see if I can find some more stuff around here. Oh, this is a yellow one. Is it actually the same? Not the same. Hey, there we go. This one is the one with the uh, the dots on the wings. Yep, this one is also the Cosmets. And as I was saying, this one is the, let's see, Great Spotted Cosmets. Spots on fins, vertical stripes. Uh, spots on fin tips, vertical stripes. Why does it say vertical stripes? Because those are horizontal. I'm gonna go with this one, Spots. That's right, the Great Spotted Cosmet. There we go, we just need to find one more Cosmet, and we're done. I would love to get the big one, though, with us. That would be so good. But I think I need the Whistle to be able to do that. Alright, I think uh, the bird here, uh, the, the ship here is done. Which means I can actually grab this one. And collect myself another Whistle. Get out of there, buddy. Oh, wait, what? A shiny bubble. Your flock can now hold eight creatures. Never mind. So apparently inside these spots, you don't only always find the Whistles, you also find other stuff. All right, can get Wally with us again and set it off on a different plane, I guess. Oh, she's calling. What's up? Tantin, this seems like a good time to show you some helpful tools. Uh, can you press M, please? Pressing M opens the Handy app, which each screen has a different purpose, so you'll quickly run through them. This first one is where you look at your sheep. Uh, you keep sheep separate from wall creatures because it's just, uh, how to say, you don't want to accidentally near the cosmets. <laughs> When you're done with the sheep, click my flock tab to uh, the next screen. Okay, uh, flock. This screen shows you all the wild creatures currently in the flock. When you hit your flock limit, all the creatures will leave to make room for new ones. If you want uh, one to stay, just mark it down as your favorite. Hmm, okay. You can also swap the creatures here for one you've caught previously if you need to. Your bird handled the logistics, she's so clever. Okay, click the map, go back to the next screen. And look at that, this is the map. That is so cool. So I think this is also we can uh, set down some uh, some tags, right? This is your map, it shows everything in the current uh, not covered by the clouds. It also tracks where you've been, providing uh, up to the minute information about those areas. Okay, one more and then we're done. Click on the creature guide, which is of course the guide where we save our creatures. Awesome! Uh, hold up, before I'm gonna do anything... Let me sit down over here for a second and see if I can discover uh, more. Come on, buddy. Sit down. Hey, look at this, guys. How can you not love this game? It just looks so precious. So... <gasps> oh, hold up. What is that? No, no, no. Get off, get off, get off. Hold up. What are these? What are these? I don't even know what these are, these tiny ones. I've never seen them before. Oh, that's a new family. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember finding these ones in the demo. These are the Sprugs. You've discovered the Sprugs. They're pocket-sized nuggets with uh, huge eyes. Don't folk confuse them with the uh, trips, but Sprugs never evolve. So they never evolve the wings, but they still float, I guess. 
Uh, funny, the crystal formation. No, hiding plain side of decorated the surfaces. Hiding small holes. Disguise itself as fruit at certain times of day. Maybe. Roams in multicolored groups. Yeah, that's the one. The rainbow sprug. Yes. That's right. That is so cool. There's gonna be so many creatures to add. Of course, it's not like infinite amount of creatures, right? There's gonna be a limit to how many creatures you can actually find right here. But, uh, I love it. And I think I was lucky because these ones probably spawned in the morning. Alright, I'm not finding anything anymore, so let's keep on diving. Let me see if I can spot more of those locations to put the uh, sheep, to get the sheep back to work. And also, discover the last creature as well. I think this one I've already discovered. These ones we just discovered, like, right a couple of seconds ago. Oh, I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Oh, ho hold up. Where are you going? Go back up here. I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure this is the last one. With the horizontal stripes. Wait, I cannot? Yellow-tipped cosmic. Oh, never mind. I've, I think I've already gotten this one. I just cannot get it to follow me because I don't have the right uh, flute. All right, let me sit here for a second. I also see what I got to go and meet that person uh, for the mission. Ooh, there we go. I gotta put my sheep over there. Let me do that. Let me do that. Come on, leave the perch. What are you doing? Leave the perch. Uh, hello? Can you please leave the perch? <laughs> there we go. Alright, just gotta put my sheep over here. Alright, let it do its thing. And while it does that... That is just so cool. The thing about this game is that it's just such a pleasure to explore. Because the world is so colorful. The Verdant Bridge. New landmark. Hold up, let me check it out. Awesome, there we go. So that's the one that we just discovered right here. The mouse kind of jumps uh, a little bit too fast sometimes for some reason. Hi, I'm Bernard, one of the professor's research assistants. You must be Stanton, right? The professor, message to say that you're on the trail for the Emperor Cosmet. I saw a Brooklyn Buell carrying the Cosmet whistle earlier. It handed off over the bridge. I'd search over there if I were you. Hmm, coming challenge. Today's challenge is catch three Buells in two minutes, I guess, right? Any species will do. Oh, the thing is I don't have the, um... I don't have what I need to catch them. Hold up, Wally. I need to come over here, buddy. First of all, let me pull this thing out. There we go. Let me go inside and see what we can find inside. You found the muscle collection knitting patterns. Ooh, new clothes available. Awesome. And let me also grab Wally over here. Looks like your sheep is ready to be uh, shorn, Stanton. Sharing is great because it gives you wool that Nia can turn into lovely warm clothes. Okay, let me check it out. So, I can actually do... Uh... There we go. <laughs> hmm. I'm always tickled by how weird looking sheeps are when they're uh, shorn. Like little hobble sausages. <laughs> Just keep feeding them and uh, they're going to grow your uh, their wool back, I guess, right? Awesome. All right, so as you guys can see, my sheep now has nothing on it. Meaning uh, I cannot grab any more wool. Wait, is this one that I already collected before? This creature is from a family you've already met. Can you tell which one? Yes, it's the Cosmets. Oh. Wait, haven't I already identified this one before? Seriously? The blue-tailed Cosmet. That's the one. Three vertical stripes. Plain blue tin tips. No, it says three vertical stripes. It does have three <laughs> vertical stripes, actually, yeah. Oh. That's right. All right, so we got all of them. There we go. 
Awesome. Keep searching. Oh, well. I just wanted to uh, make sure I got every single one of them from this collection. Uh, so, I think the last one where I can put my sheep to let it shear. Uh, more like to eat up, to grease, to, gr uh, to grass the lands. is going to be all the way to the back here. Wait, what? What are these? What is this? The heck? I got no clue what these are, but these are definitely a different family. Unless it might be Gleeps. No, no, it's this one. The Droops. Oh. Gosh, you met some of our local Droops. We used to call them the Airwells, but they're closer to Dolphins. Yellow Flippers. Zoom around in groups called Cliques. Moves gracefully through water. Bright blue eyes. And emits clouds of smoke. And I think it's the... Um, zooms around. Yep, this one. The Balsamic, right? Yep, the Balsamic Droops. Awesome. Apparently, the droops here do not have an emperor version, so that's fine. Right. And lastly, I gotta put my ship here and let it do its thing. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger, so the uh, the sheep are gonna have quite a bit of uh, eating to do. Or like the single sheep, because I don't really have multiple of them. This one... I cannot call for it, right? When it shows the whistle, the broken down whistle means I don't have the proper whistle. Collect it. Oh, man. This looks so lovely. Titan, Hi. it's lovely to have you back. Come and see me when you can, and bring wool. I'll let you a warm and stylish wardrobe in no time. Keep an eye out for knitting patterns of your travels too. Those bulging bules made off with some of my best designs. They're naughty, but I suppose they're good for taste. Meaning uh, they have taste, right? For stealing her uh, great designs. That's what she means. Ooh, look at that. There's something in the distance there. I'm thinking that's going to be like another area I'm going to be able to explore. I wonder if you can just fly off to that side. Can you? I mean, I can, but I... Is he allowing me? Oh, it's not allowing me to go there. Yeah, it's just pushing me back, apparently. Interesting. Hmm. I thought that it would actually allow me to. I probably need to uh, uncover more of the area in order to be able to explore that spot. Alright, the sheep is still going. Let me check the map. So we're currently exploring here. I think I was kind of like trying to go all the way to this side, but uh, it is it is locked. So currently we have identified 12 out of 19 creatures. I'm guessing 12 out of 19 in this region. Right? Uh, that is so cool that I can place markers. That is awesome. Because if you want to go back and explore something again, uh, you can always kind of like have markers. Oh, and the grasslands also have a check mark. Meaning uh, you've already covered those up, right? So you cannot really find anything in there. Oh, cool. That is good to know. Should probably go there and uh, check that out. Click our markers. Oh, so if you want to click the markers, just hold on to Z, and that clears everything. Cool. All right, come on, sheepy. I'm gonna be guessing what this is gonna be doing. Uh, this is probably gonna be uh, finally unlocking one of the the whistles. So look at that. All the way into distance there, we might be able to get to that side eventually. But uh, I'm pretty sure I can all the way over there as well. But I'm pretty sure I gotta unlock, first of all, I gotta unlock um, more of the region to be able to explore that side. How's he looking, sheep? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is enough to grow uh, its wool. Yeah, I see that it already has enough wool. Alright, just a little bit more. I think you can also have multiple of these sheeps with you, if I'm not mistaken, so that they can graze a little bit faster. Either that, or just let them do their thing, and you, you just go exploring. You don't really have to wait for the sheep to do its thing. You can explore while it's uh, doing its business. Bull! <laughs> there we go. And this one definitely has one of the uh, whistles, right? Yes, it does. And we got the Cosmic Whistle. Nice. That's what I want to see. Wally is ready to be sheared. I know. I know. 
Let me get it. Come here. Now we go into the map. Uh, sheep. And shear. There we go. So basically now I have two of these bowls. That is awesome. Tantin, I've been thinking. The Emperor Cosmic dropped the cloud level while you were watching. Maybe it wants to come and find it? You, uh, you should start your search in the Lopin's field, where all those tall, colorful flowers are. The tall, colorful flowers. Uh, the thing is, now we do have the proper whistle, meaning I'm finally going to be able to collect some of these bugles, right? Um, not the bugles, actually, the cosmets. Because previously I couldn't. So, if I want to collect me a different type of uh, species... I'm pretty sure now I can, I can collect the other ones that I couldn't. The thing is, I'm also going to do a challenge with Bernard here. And I think its challenge is to actually collect some of these things. But I'm definitely going to focus on this one and also try to get me the Cosmet. But, I think uh, we're going to let this for the next episode. Right now, before I'm going to end up this first episode of uh, Flock. Because we're definitely going to make a full series out of this one and I keep on enjoying it. Let me make my way to my auntie over here. And see the type of... Uh, Clothing she's gonna make for me with the uh, the uh, wall that we just found. Is that you, Stanton? Oh goodness me! It's been years. I'm still selling my woolies, so pop by if you need to. Uh, uh, if you need a new look, I don't take cash. Remember, just good old ball of wool. Buy clothes, and there we go. So these are the ones you can buy. But currently, I only have two wool, meaning the only thing that I can get is the gloves. Hmm. Ah, uh, that is so cool that you can actually visualize how they look before you buy them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I guess I'm gonna have to uh, try to get myself as much as possible in order to be able to get all the clothing. And I'm pretty sure the more materials I, uh, more like the more patterns I find and bring back to her, um, the more types of clothing she's gonna be able to maybe produce for me. Anyway, guys, that being said, uh, let me just sit down right over here. And uh, this is going to be the end of the first episode of Flock. If you guys want to check this game out, it is currently available. It just came out. It is definitely one of the uh, games that I was super, super excited uh, for this year. Super happy that it's out, finally out. You can check this one out either on Steam. You can check out the link down below in the description. Or multiple platforms, actually. Uh, but I'm currently playing this on uh, PC, Xbox, Game Pass. And uh, I love it. All right. That being said, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.